Jennifer, now to a cancer that disproportionately affects African Americans. Myeloma, also called multiple myeloma, is more than twice as common among black people when you compare to those who are white. And men also are more likely to develop it. This is according to the CDC. There is no cure for the disease, but in honor of Multiple Myeloma Awareness Month, we're breaking down how significant advances in therapies are helping patients live longer. It's a cancer of the plasma cells, which are antibody-creating white blood cells that protect against infection. Myeloma most often strikes those over the age of 45. And there's over 30,000 people each year in the United States alone that are diagnosed uh, with this particular condition. Hematologist Dr. Rafael Fonseca with Mayo Clinic says patients with myeloma may experience kidney failure, bone destruction, and pain and anemia. But in his years of training and treatment of myeloma, he's seen a shift in survival rates. Over 25 years ago, patients had an average life expectancy of about two years. Nowadays, many patients can expect to live 10, 15, and even sometimes 20 years after their diagnosis. Fonseca says that's due to advances in treatment of the disease, including medications and immunotherapy. We have uh, antibodies that directly bind to the myeloma cells and kill them. So that's uh, very effective. We, we have a number of them. Fonseca says there are also new therapies like CAR-T, a cell therapy, where a patient's T cells, a type of white blood cell, are taken and retrained through genetic engineering. They can be given back to the person, but now they have a target, and that target is myeloma cells. And some of the treatments are highly, highly effective. In particular, the CAR T cells, we see that in some clinical trials, more than 90% of patients can have very deep responses. And with myeloma, the doctor says as research continues and with more advances in available treatments, he's hopeful that myeloma will become a curable disease.